Hello there, Monstars. In this flip video, we are going to be talking about multiplication with arrays. Now, when we say arrays, we don't mean a ray, like a ray of sunshine. We're talking about an array which is a picture that's, sh that's showing a product. Remember when we discussed products in class, how a product is an answer to a multiplication problem? Well, we're going to be making arrays. We're going to use our strategy of drawing a picture to represent the product of a multiplication equation. So let's talk about what this looks like. If I gave you the multiplication equation of 2 times 5, or two groups of 5, and I wanted you to use the strategy of drawing a picture to show the product, I would ask you to draw an array. An array for this multiplication equation would be two groups of 5. So when we make our groups, we stack them on top of each other like Lego blocks. So we take one group of five, and our next group of five is stacked right underneath. So they're going to be right on top of each other. So notice that our two is represented here. We have two stacks or two groups, and our five is represented by five in each group. Now what's the product of this? How many total? Circles do I have? If we count them, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, we find that we have 10 as our answer. 10 as our product. So this is how we would represent two groups of 5, or 2 times 5 equals 10, with a picture. Now I'm going to make that a little bit smaller. We also learned in class this week about the commutative property of multiplication, which states which states that we can change the order of our factors, 5 and 2, and still get the same answer. I do want to point out, though, when you change the order of your factors, your array is going to look different. So this array represented here is two groups of 5. But I want to draw a 5 by 2 array, a five, 5 groups of 2 array. So that's going to look different. I'm going to go down vertically to make five, to show I have five groups, and I need two in each group. So this array for five groups of two would be vertical and would be represented up and down. So now I have a group of two here, and here, and here, and here, and here. So I have five groups of two stacked on top of each other. And what's 5 times 2 equal? If we count up, we still are going to come to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We're still going to have 10 as our answer. Okay, this time I want you to show me some practice. I'm going to give you the multiplication equation of 3 times 2. I want you to pause the video and then draw your array for 3 times 2, 3 groups of 2. Push play when you're ready. Okay, an array for three groups of two would look like this. Three groups of two, you have three groups of two in each group. Okay, now I want you to draw the array that shows the commutative property of three groups of two. So think in your head, what's the commutative property of three groups of two? And I want you to draw that array. Push pause and then hit play when you're ready. Okay, three groups of two. The commutative property of three groups of two would be two groups of three. And that array would look like this, two groups of three. Remember our two is vertical, our three is horizontal. So our equation, we have two, we can say that our multiplication equation of three groups of two equals our multiplication equation of two groups of three. Because both equations have the product of what number? You're right. They both have a product of six. 
Okay, I'm going to give you a story problem now. I'm going to tell you that I walked into a bakery to buy cupcakes for Zoe's birthday. And at the bakery, I noticed that there were three rows of five cupcakes. I want you to hit pause, pause and I want you to draw an array of three rows of five pup, cupcakes. Okay, the array that you should have drawn would have been three rows with five in each row. And it would look something like this. Now the multiplication equation represented would be three groups of five. And what does three groups of five equal? Well, let's count our arrays. The first row has five. Then 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So our three groups of 5 equals 15. Now I want you to show me the commutative property for this problem. What If you have three groups of 5, what's the commutative property tell us the commutative equation should be for this multiplication equation? So think about that. And then I want you to draw the array that goes with the commutative property. Push pause and hit play when you're ready. Okay, the commutative property tells us that five groups of three, which would look like this, would also equal 15. And if you counted your circles, counted up your array, then you got 15 as an answer. So if we were going to write this multiplication equation out, we could say that 3 groups of 5 equals 5 groups of 3. They both equal 15. All right, for your challenge problem, I'm going to give you the multiplication equation of 9 groups of 4. I want you to draw the array for 9 groups of 4, and then I want, and then I want you to draw an array that shows the commutative property. And this is something we're going to go over in class, so I want you to have this work ready when you bring your whisk in on Friday. And as always, we're going to finish with a joke. What is a scarecrow's favorite fruit? What is a scarecrow's favorite fruit? Hmm. All right, Monstars, have a good night.